Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Yay, Hi. Jack came back on his own channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm now here in place of Lori Tata. Lori Tata. Lori Tata. I hope that I'm welcome back. I hope Lori doesn't boot me out. She She's gonna take she's over. She's gonna literally, yeah. What's that just... called where, like, a king would get, like, thrown off by his, like, brother who, like, takes the throne? Lori's gonna bust in that door, and she's just gonna grab me it's by not the even collar the... and just yank it's me It's not out. even the door. You're just gonna see, like, that cute little small hand come in through the wall, like, punch through the wall. <laughs> Call me out. Anyways, Anyways, hello everyone and welcome uh, to Thursday. Today we have an amazing, fantastic, actually it is a really good one. This, uh, when we say like amazing, fantastic, super, this is like, we got really a, is. We got, is a good We got a good bins haul for you. Mm -hmm. Ryan made out like a bandit this time. Really like we both had really good finds, but Ryan had like a really, 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 really good find. I did. And they're gonna be like, that's it. No, they won't. <laughs> but this is the bins. All this is bins. Yes, it is. All of it. There might be one thing in here that's not actually, and I'll tell you if it pops up. Ryan got something from me at a Goodwill, and I think oh, I yeah. just threw it in this bag, so it's probably in this pile. But, but everything okay. else is from the bins. We have tons of shoes. Yes. We have tons of pants and a bottoms. Of, I got a lot of jeans. Tons of tops. Mm -hmm. I don't think I really have much like sweaters or jackets, which is fine okay. because we don't really have room for more of that in the storage unit, so that's totally okay. I will say though, okay, so somebody messaged me this, like last time we did a bins haul, and the stuff that has Goodwill tags on it, we got it in the bins, but what happens is like, when Goodwill runs out of space, or when like something's been on the floor for too long, they'll just send it to the bins. So like, if that caused any confusion to anybody, I apologize. And if you've seen our <laughs> thrift with us, you'll see that like our, when we go to Goodwill's, all of the tags have like different colors, like, it's, like mm -hmm. pink, green, blue, whatever. Our Goodwill's don't have sales, that's not what those are for. It's not no. like it's a pink week, get half off, whatever, no. Actually, that's just for them like dating the stuff, so yeah. they rotate what color they use. They know what week it came in. That's mm -hmm. how, they know what to send to the bin. So sometimes, maybe if you paid really close attention in a hall, a bins hall, it probably is a lot of the same color tags because yeah. they're getting rid of that color right or now. Or it's like each Goodwill has like their own color cycle. So like one Goodwill could be like, okay, this week's blue. They pull everything with a blue tag off of the floor and throw it on the truck to go to the bins. But yeah. like the one down the street could be like pink or whatever. Sorry to confuse anybody, That's... but none of this came from actual Goodwill except for that one little thing even, that I got for Jen. Even if there's a tag on it. So we're just gonna jump into it. And as always, if you're interested in anything, I'm actually pretty sure that all of these, or almost all, are on Poshmark already. So honestly, with this stuff, the best way to try to get at it we'll is an just check Poshmark, put it in a bundle, or like send us an offer, or just buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, whatever you want to do. Oh. I don't really have like my clothing organized, and I didn't get much for like bags and accessories. So I'm just gonna show my two shoes first, and then Ryan, I suppose, will show his shoes and his miscellaneous accessories. So I got two pairs of shoes. One of them is a new brand to me, and it is these boots. These they're actually nice. really cute. They kind of remind me of St. Laurent a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. But these are just like some ankle-high cowboy boots, and they are by a brand called Hudson London. I had to think hmm. about that because actually the, the name has worn off everywhere. It used to be here, and it used to be on the inside, but it's worn off in both those places. Nice. This is the logo. I literally just looked up, I could read that it said crafted, and I literally looked up H crafted boots, and I found it, which is kind of surprising. The boots by this brand retail from like 150 to like 300. It's like a so fry situation. I'm just gonna give them a shot. They're really nice mm -hmm. leather, and they zip on like both sides, which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It makes it way easier to get them on, so I like that. They're size 40. And my other shoes are these super, super, super good condition fry loafers. I gotta like work with this box light. There we go. This leather there we is go. so nice. And these are men's. They're size nine. So these, yeah, they're just like penny loafers, men's. I don't think I've ever tried men's fry. So we'll see how they do. I don't know. I think they'll do pretty good. Yeah, they're really they're, nice. They're size nine. So they're I guess like color for if you're a woman with size 11, you could wear them too. They might be yeah, a little wide. Two sizes up. Might be a little wide. Mm -hmm. I don't know. First up for me, I got a pair of, a couple pairs of boots as well. I got a couple really nice pairs. So this is a pair of Sam Edelman. There's his little thing. It's kind of hard to read inside. Uh, these are a size nine. These are the, the Hilti. These are the Hilti boots. And these are like, they're in, next to new condition. They're absolutely beautiful. Like, and this leather. I like that it's like, 
kinda curved. They're very modern. Like, very trendy. So subtle. This heel is just like so subtly curved. And like curved heels are so in. They are super popular. And I think pointed toe is like really in right now too. I wish this- This does kind of give me witch vibes. Just a yeah, little. Yeah, very like modern witch. Which like, like spooky. Very everyday witch. Which is yes, like what I love. She has just, to go to Trader Joe's. Yes. Which I love. I was honestly just shocked. So this is like that really fine, smooth leather that when I found it in the bins, it wasn't like, because like, you know, they throw it in with like the ice skates, which we get a lot of ice skates up here. Mm, yeah. Oh. These smell like such nice leather. I know. Uh, the Start only little back. issue is on the back of this heel, there's a couple little scrapes, but I'm like 90% sure that's just from like them being in the bin and them getting like bonked around with everything else. So I was very excited to find those. I love that like I've been finding a lot of really good fall pieces. And I feel like usually when I go sourcing, like when it's like that big seasonal shift, I get everybody's like old summer stuff. Cause then you get all your old summer stuff and you get all your new fall stuff. I, I was gonna say, if you guys saw the thumbnail in the title, there is kind of like a fall theme going there on. Is like a which fall is vibe. perfect timing. Cause mm -hmm. I totally forgot to say in the beginning, but next <laughs> Tuesday, I believe it's next Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it's next Tuesday. Kicks off <gasps> our fall coverage. <laughs> all of our fun fall. I'm so excited. Bolos, fall oh. Nolo. Fall content, like fall I'm gonna wear brands, all my sweaters. Fall categories, and starting it off on Tuesday is everybody's favorite video: the Fall 2021 trend. I was say, I trend year it is. On Tuesday, uh, trend report: Fall 2021. Can't wait. Okay, so back to the shoes. So this is the other pair, which I'm gonna let you put some puzzle pieces together and make a general assumption of what else I found in this bin. So this is a pair of Todd's little loafers. I was gonna say, are these Todd's? Yeah, because you're they, not gonna be able to tell. Um, there's a little bit of mud on this one, but like it's really dry. So I'm just gonna like get it off with a suede brush and just wipe it down. I'm super excited. There's the Todd's logo. Kind these of. are a size 38 and a half, which is funny because the other 10 out of 10 Primo pair of shoes that I got was also 38 and a half. And I love these. I think I'm gonna sell these myself, honestly. I, I'm gonna try them. Whenever I usually find Todd's, they're really ugly, but I think this is just like a little bit more not ugly. You know, <laughs> I like them. We'll give them a shot. And if not, the real real would l be more than happy to have them. Normally when I find Todd's, they're like kind of ugly. And this time, as he holds up like the ugliest pair of they shoes are not. I've ever seen. They are not. Okay, so I have one little purse as well. This is my bag. Oh, I don't, oh. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, never mind. I didn't know how that went. We're learning things. We're discovering things. We are learn some new every day. Anyway, okay, so this is Kate Spade. It says Miss Kate Spade on the back. Um, I have not leather conditioned this yet, and that is my next step. I love this. If you're going to be able to see, yeah, the little oh. clasp is a spade. Do you see it? I think that's adorable. Um, the inside of it, so the little claspy part has a little bit of wear on it. The inside, I feel like your standard couple of pen marks here and there. Nothing really too crazy, but I love this style. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before with the little um, strap that you can wear. Like, I was gonna say, if you like pull it up, it oh. gets shorter, or if you like pull it like that, it goes flat. Usually, that's like a thing they do with chains, not. Not like, like straps. Strap straps. But I just thought this was super cute. And I honestly liked it when it was like this. I thought this was super cute. Mm -hmm. So my next pair of shoes is a staple for me. I love picking up dance goes. Good old pair of dance goes. This bin also, very thankfully, was gifting me a, a lot of dance goes. But unfortunately, a lot of them had the, the thing where you twist them and they just like crack the and crumble. Rot. Yeah, they had dry rot. That's what it was. These do not. I was very excited. And I also think this is super cute. I love this little pattern, this like metallic. It's not like a cheetah print, but it's just kind of like a skin of some sort. I love these. The bottom is in really good condition. I really don't think these were ever worn like at all. Like, the, it's so nice. And then this, like, suede stuff up here is super comfy, super squishy, super nice. Then I found this pair of sneakers. These I definitely need to clean up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. They're just Zara. But, like, I feel like these chunky, like, little white sneakers are, like, really trendy right now. And I feel like they'll do good. I just gotta, like, wash the laces. This pair of boots that I found is Eileen Fisher. There she is. My new favorite. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, these are a size nine, and I think, like, if these weren't Eileen Fisher, I would honestly be just as excited. These this style is super trendy. They're actually my favorite Eileen Fisher shoes I've ever seen in my entire life. Yes. This is, like, 
They've got, this is all platform. So like, these mm -hmm. are like low key, like a Spice Girl legging look. Could you imagine? Oh. Like the Spice Girls, but they only wear legging look. Spice Girls, but make it Magnolia That's Pearl. Nice. That'd yeah. be really funny. So I am 90% sure these are called the bird booty, the bird heel booty, if I'm not mistaken. If you know, please let me know. Okay, so my next two pairs of shoes, I was literally so excited to find. I've heard through all the reseller grapevines that Hoka's are very popular. They sell really well. And I was thankfully able to find two pairs. So this is my first one. And these are the um, Hoka 1-1. I don't know like anything about these. So if you know, like there's a keyword, there's a specific style, or there's like some kind of something I'm supposed to be talking about, please let me know. And this really fun little purple and blue colorway, I did, did really clean these up. I washed all the insoles. I scrubbed them down. So I made them all nice and fresh. I'm obsessed with these. They're the Hoka Bondi. B-O-N-D-I. Bondi 4 is yes. what this pair is. And then, if you've got a husband that needs a new pair of Hokas, this is a size 11. These are Hoka, a size... Hoka. I like these These are ones. size 9.5. I love these colors. Like this little purple ones. is so cute. Yeah. So these are a size 11. These definitely have a little bit more to wear, especially on this one. Um, I did clean these up as well. I love these. This is another pair of the 1-1, one, one, but I don't know. Hoka 1-1. One, one. To fly is what this one says. Oh, these say Bondi also. So honestly, who knows? They're all Hoka's. No idea. They're all sneakers. Yes, they are. And then, okay, before I show you the talk of the town, the primo, primo you find, a personal favorite. We can't. I can't leave the bins without a pair of Chacos. I love them. I love them. I love them. These are a size women's 10. <sighs> Drum roll, please. So, this is why I am absolutely addicted to the bin that we go to. The people that go just to get like sneakers and other shoes went bloop and they completely tossed these aside. And the minute I saw the toe on this one, I read the inside and I was like, hmm, could it be? And then I saw the toe and I was like, oh my God, it is. Checked in the bottom, completely legit. I found this absolutely stunning pair of black and navy blue. I don't know how well that's gonna come up. Chanel lambskin leather flats. I did clean them up on the inside. I literally made them like new. I got the tissue paper stuff in the bottom. They're size 38 and a half, just like the Todd's, just like Mrs. Todd's lady. <sighs> Ryan has found two pairs of Chanel. Debbie wow. has found a pair of Chanel. Both the of them, both of them have found Chanel at the bins. Jack has found none. Thank you. She's <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd like to put in a request. I Can I it. place an order at the <laughs> bins? Um, next time you get Chanel's, like, roll them out to me. Bye. Please do. Oh, these were 39 and a half, excuse me. These definitely do have a few little signs of wear. On this one, the left shoe, there's this teeny little mark right here, I think just from being in the bin. And then they both just have a, not a fair amount, but like a little bit of toe wear. And the bottoms, you can see the CCs and the Veracuro and the 39. I am over the moon excited about them. I also found this Tory Burch dress bag that I'm going to put them with because <laughs> I didn't have a Tory a Chanel dress bag. Who donated those? Well, on to the clothing. Can I have a turn again? No. <laughs> you had the whole week and a half. Can I have a turn, please? No. So let's jump into my pile of linen. <laughs> linen. For some reason, I got a bunch of linen. Yeah. First up is this size six Michael Michael Kors. I would never sell Michael Michael Kors myself. It just doesn't do that well. This is an exception. But this is like really, really cute. So this is like, I think of it as like the watermelon dress. It looks like those um, Lucky Brand shorts that you had a while ago. Which that somebody watermelon. like died to look like a watermelon. It was so cute. They're green. It's green and white and pink. And it has this like embroidery stitching all along it's the really top. Pretty. It unfortunately has a little bit of like splitting right there, which I, I'm going to list it like this for now. And whoever buys it can fix it. If it doesn't sell after a while, maybe I'll try to fix it myself. But mm. I'm not that talented with like repairs. <laughs> that might go on the Janet pile. But that's 100% linen. On to some more linen. This is a brand called Bryn Walker. I have never tried this brand before. It's expensive. But I've heard it's expensive, and I could just tell by like the. It's really cute. It's really high quality linen, is what I I'm trying to say. I love these buttons. These like mother of pearl little yeah. buttons. They're super And I pretty. love the big like pockets at the front. The like artist smock pockets. There is no size to this at all. But I would say it's like mm. a small, nah, like a medium. Small, medium. It seems like a medium because I think it's supposed to be like kind of boxy. Let's switch to like the top tier linen, I guess. <laughs> I found an Eileen Fisher because I've had some luck with Eileen in the last like two weeks. I suppose I'll try it myself, but this is not just linen. This is... 
advanced, advanced linen. linen. This is Irish linen. A hundred percent Irish linen. This is Irish linen. I don't know if that makes it like pinky up or something. I don't know. I don't know. Is this like, someone tell me. Obviously me. I don't know anything about Eileen Fisher. Is this a new label? Like, is this the new label? Is this like a really old one? I don't really know. But honestly, like, I don't. Oh, it's another nice. one where it's like, I just don't hate it. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's super nice linen, just like the Bryn Walker. And it's got these like teeny little buttons at the little, front. Little buttons. And I don't think this had a size either. It's literally probably the same situation. It's like a boxy medium, Is I it guess. one of those like one size things? I don't know. Then I actually found two of these. This is Madewell, which I don't always like to sell, but this is really cute. It's probably gonna show up really funky. No, but the no, other the other one is probably gonna show up funky. Yeah. So this is like a like a Christmas green, Christmas tree, velvet top, and mm. it's like it's wing like sleeves, emerald green. Like, like bat wing. Yeah, bat mm -hmm. wing sleeves, and that's a size large and similar. Very, 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 very similar is another Madewell with the same tag, if I can find it, right there. And it's also a large, so obviously the same person. It's the same top. And it's a blue. And this beautiful. It actually is version. showing up pretty good. Oh, look at how elegant this looks. It's the exact, it's so pretty. literally exact same top, just in blue. I got a lot of jeans this trip, and I don't know if I'll be able to pull them right off of the top, but I got a really, really good bolo pair of jeans, and I'm excited about it. Okay. So my first pair is this pair of Topshop Moto jeans, which like Topshop definitely isn't my favorite, but I picked these up because they are the mom style. Yeah, and I just thought this was a super trendy little pair of jeans, like one for the girlies. Just like got all the distress in, got the raw hem. I obviously like won't be able to make a ton of money on these, but like an easy 20, 25 bucks. I've been know? able to sell Topshop jeans before. Really nothing else. No. Actually, shoes sometimes. The shoes I think can do kind of good if they're like trendy. Really interesting. Yeah. So this next pair of jeans, I was super excited to find. I saw one of the vintage kids go do the thing where they just like throw everything up in the air and like let it land where they it does. They just kind of like punch in it and throw things and flip stuff. They literally just like take it in one big like swoop and just like choo -choo. It's like, I wonder if like time freezes for them. They like matrix, they throw they it in the air do. or you can like see every label and they like freeze time and their eyes just kind of like, like dart around. single stitch? No, moving on. <laughs> um, I actually found a lot. All these jeans came from this bin. Um, so here is the bottom. They are super, super pretty. Um, this is what I was talking about with like the Goodwill tag. So this Goodwill, for some reason green, didn't do good. And this is another big bolo. They are driftwood. And they're only six bucks at Goodwill. Yeah, I- I would've bought those. I definitely would've paid five ninety nine for these at Goodwill. I was even more excited that I got them in the bin. Um, these are the Colette 3326. I just think these are absolutely perfect for fall. I love them. And they're a great size. I thought they were gonna be a pair of those Pilkro jeans that have like the really fun embroidered bottom, but I wasn't mad. Okay, so this is a pair of J. Crew jeans in a size 32. J. Crew definitely is like not my first pickup, but I think as we move into the fall, I do really want to have like some good lower, like just some like cheaper sweaters, some cheaper jeans, and a variety of sizes with people that are like, oh, I don't have a pair of jeans, oh, I don't have a sweater. Um, so these are size 32, and I picked them up because they have this nice little Rahem detail in them, and I thought they were cute, and they're a good size. So, and if not, I can just take them to a consignment store, like if I am unable to sell them myself. And then I got this pair of Topshop Moto Mom jeans. These were at a Buffalo Exchange for $15. Oh, they must have been Fun. at ours that we've I never been were. to. I think they were. These are a size 30. I was gonna say, how did something get here from Buffalo? <laughs> And again, like, I'm definitely not gonna make all the money in the world off of these, but I think it's just like a good trendy style. The denim seems really like decent quality. And they're not like- The denim seems really okay. <laughs> well, okay, like Topshop's fast fashion, you know, like we're not gonna get some a goldy denim. But my next pair of jeans is a pair of Zara jeans. These are a size six. Again, like not making a ton of money, just a super cute little trendy style with like the wider leg. They kind of give me like a Levi's dad jean vibe, which I know is like the moment right now. Um, and I like that it's like really distressed and really ragged looking and they have the busted knee on them. Once again, the like, really okay denim. Very mediocre, you know? But it's the new Zara label. Oh, it's the new Zara label. This mm -hmm. is what that looks like, like the overlapping capital letters. Yeah. And I was like, well, they're in the bin. And if not, I can take them to a consignment store if they really don't sell by the end of the jean season or if I just like get 
a lot of good jeans all of a sudden. So next up for me is a band tee and it's the Steve Miller band and it's extra small. And this is like a distressed band tee really with cute. probably like an album cover or something on the front. I don't know who Steve Miller is. And it even has like the dates on the back, which usually kind of can mean it's like a more expensive or like better one. I don't know. It looks like one of the Revolve ones. Maybe, honestly. yeah. Then we have, what is this? Oh, this is an ACDC sweatshirt and this is an XL and it's just by ACDC. I don't know like where this was sold or anything. Sold by Leidspline Press. I don't know. Don't know who she is. Um, but it's a crop gray sweatshirt, which is the ACDC logo. Super it's really soft. soft. It's like not too thick, so it, you're not gonna get like too hot. And it's like, it has some stretch and like, it'd be much more comfortable than just like a 100% cotton sweatshirt. Then let's jump into some like fallish type items. Fallish type item. First one is Anthropology Maeve. And I was like, oh, like whatever. One of those like basic anthro kind of blouses, mm -hmm. just like a floral with like a little couple of butterflies in it. And a leaf. But these are not flowers. They are like red maple leaves, if you can see that. And these are not butterflies. <laughs> these are all moths. All of them are different types of moths. Which are just night butterflies. So this is like so fall. I love like this. it's like take cutesy fun like spring summer fashion but just like turn the dial turn the part time of the year to fall which i love next up is my absolute favorite find of the day i'm good so find oh so excited about this i posted it to my story the moment i found it and i have a feeling that this was either in the last what sold saturday you saw or going to be in this next one because so many people asked me about it and when that many people ask i just say i'm gonna list it and whoever gets it gets it <laughs> sometimes you just gotta throw it out there and see what so happens so it is mod cloth size large and it is a skull colored mini dress it's so cute. and it's like super it's like so thick cute. and nice quality and these are so well embroidered on mm -hmm. no fading or pilling at all and it has pockets it's so cute. i'm so freaking excited and when i looked it up i think mod cloth is one of those brands where when they make like halloween stuff it becomes rare it sells out really because it probably sells really quick mm -hmm. so this is like quite rare for mod cloth it's like super rare which of course doesn't mean it's worth hundreds but it probably is worth around a hundred which like for mod cloth that's a lot for just so, like a cute little black dress very <laughs> excited about that so then my next two are two of the exact same thing just in a different size kind of like those made wells except those were the same size this is free people one which I feel like is one of the more popular free people lines at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's one of the like looser, like boho-y, like everything is usually a linen. And it's usually like a little bit more expensive, I feel mm -hmm. like. And this one's a size medium and it's called like the gauzy indus top and your shoulder, it's a cold shoulder. So but like the sleeves like are like a Attached, but it like they're so wide that like you still have room to like move you got, your arms. You got room to move. Yeah. But yeah. So this one's in purple, and that one's a medium. And then I also found it in like white classic like gauze color. Did you find them like on top of each other? Yeah. Or did you find them in the same bin? I think they're the same bin. Yeah. And then this one's a small. So they are different Super size, cute. but like they look like the same size. And it's free. So people. yeah, you know, it's it'll fit I mean, anybody. Small, medium for both. Yes. Okay. So my next up on my tour of the girlies jeans is a pair of BDG Urban Outfitters jeans these are the girlfriend high-rise cropped size 26 this is the new bdg tag and again like obviously not gonna make a ton of money off of these but just like a good little well knowing ryan and urban outfitters he probably will make quite a bit I of money i'm listing them for 40 dollars um just a good little pair of like basic jeans especially as we go into like the college girlies going back to college which i think is like girly mecca in terms of like who what girly buys what i think the college girlies are the ones if you say girly one more time oh, oh my gosh boom. so then then I found this Nike t-shirt, size large, and I'm usually like really not like a Nike t-shirt person, but I thought this one was super fun, especially like after the Olympics just ended. It has this fun gold foil font with the Nike swoosh that has all the country flags in it. I just thought it was super cute. Then I found this Buzz, size large. Don't know anything about this brand. Really cute graphic though. Uh, so here is the front. Is that TJ Maxx? I've seen it somewhere. I kind of feel like it's TJ Maxx. And it says Yellowstone. Yellowstone? Yeah, and it's, um, oh, what's the geyser's name? Old Faithful. 
Hmm. It's Old Faithful. I And I love this color. It feels like a um, Comfort Colors t-shirt. It's like it's super soft. Then Jack handed me this and I'm so devastated. This isn't in my size. This is the late, the great Farrah Fawcett when she was in Baywatch. Oh my God, I love this t-shirt. Um, the brand is... The Farrah Fawcett Foundation. Oh, nice. Yeah. Size... Medium. If Ryan wasn't there, like, I would have got this, but I just know, like, Ryan's more, I don't know, more of that person. I love Fair Fawcett. Okay, then I got this little Lululemon tank top, just gray with, like, the built-in sports bra. I definitely am not gonna, like, list this for Crazy High because it is just a tank top, but, you know, it was in the bins. And then this is a new to me brand, but I feel like I've heard people mention it before, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. The brand is Shopo, size six. I thought it was a Revolve brand, and I posted about it on my Instagram story, and everybody was like, no, you idiot. That's an Australian on the line brand. I was like, okay. So I just think it's really pretty. I love that it has the little, like, ruffly sleeves and the little, like, tie waist detail. I think it'll do, like, decent. And if not, that is a perfect contender to go to Plato's Club. <laughs> yes, it is. So next up for me is a plus size one, and it's a mall brand. I have only sold this brand once before, and it was, like, a really nice coat, and it was right in the middle of winter. So oh, it actually yeah. did pretty good and it was mm -hmm. a really good size. And so I'm kind of thinking the same thing with this. It's Lane Bryant and it's a 2224. It's really cute though. And something about this, again, it just gives me those like witchy vibes. So like a good like Halloween, fall mm -hmm. kind of shirt. It's like the whole sleeves are lace with no like underlayer and then cuffs. And then the front is also like a lace panel, but that does have the underlayer. It has a little like. It's like, like a t-shirt underneath yeah. it. Yeah. So I don't know. I just, again, sometimes I just like to try the like things that yell witchy at me, especially yeah. around like Halloween time. It's cute. Now that we can like have Halloween parties this year. Yes. <laughs> Then we have a J Crew, J. not Crew. something I pick up very often, but this is in super good condition, size small. And this is actually from last holiday season, because if you don't know, J Crew puts like seasons and years in. And this is from holiday so 2020. So soft. I don't think she wore this. I don't think she did either. Or she just honestly. wore it to like the one like company party. And she then wore it to like, her in last uh, Christmas that she doesn't like and was like, I'm gonna go. But like staples and classics like this have kind of been popular for like the past year just like sweatshirts turtlenecks Easy whatever mm -hmm. yeah then we have a champion size large and i picked it up because it had this dude on it and what's his name earl earl his name's earl from tyler the creator tyler the creator earl, earl. <laughs> i don't really have anything else to i say. have no idea who earl actually is i was is. like hoping this would be some kind of like valuable streetwear thing and i don't think it's like worth a ton it's but it's just it, earl it might still do okay i think it'll do okay then this is the item that ryan grabbed for me at a Goodwill and it's yes. equipment because I love selling equipment I and it's a size it small and it's this really cute Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice striped Beetlejuice. shirt and the back has this really, really pretty flower really embroidery. Mm -hmm. And actually, shockingly, if you guys know equipment, you know that equipment is like literally always silk. This is not silk. This is just like a cotton dress shirt. So it's really nice, a little though. bit easier to take care of, I would say. Mm -hmm. And I will do this one and then give Ryan the floor again. We got an ASOS item oh. and it is a US 14. So great size. Such a cute piece. And it's a super cute, like cinched waist pleated blazer. Like and a I, long blazer. I was going to say, I think it's like a tunic blazer. Mm -hmm. Cause it's pretty long. One of those like new ones. And again, like the J Crew, this maybe was worn one time. It's got some nice like shoulder padding in it, but like modern shoulder pads. Not like 80s where you're gonna look like a linebacker. Yeah. You know, like and cute shoulder pads. We have not researched for the fall trend report yet, but blazers for the past few years have it's been very popular. very popular. And so like, I'm hopeful. Yeah. And I'm sure, even if they aren't like a top trend, I'm sure there's a lot of people who still like use old trends. Wear the blazers over the t-shirts. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so next up for me, I will show you the really good denim that I found. Oh, I'm so excited. So the brand is called Girlfriend. If you are unfamiliar, it's literally like how you would say girlfriend, but take out every I. Girlfriend. And the E. Oh, take, take, out, out, take out all the vowels. I don't know anything about my language. Okay, I apologize. So these, these are expensive. Like these are really expensive new. <laughs> Listen here, girlfriend. Listen here, girl. These are expensive. These are very expensive. <laughs> um, And they're so trendy and so cute. I'm so excited. So they're just this like nice kind of like semi-distressed wash on the back. But then we flip them around. Look at these pockets. 
Look at this. It I looks like somebody. Little... It looks like somebody redid an old pair of Levi's. They kind of feel like that. Le that really good old Levi denim. But like this style is so popular. So like I'm gonna list these for like 125. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see what happens. They are the um. What's the name of them? The Carolina. Carolina. Carolina in a size 26. Girlfriend is one. I'm sure we're gonna do like a 10 jeans Bella brand. It's just you and me, babe. Even though we've done one before and Girlfriend was actually on it, but Girlfriend is one of the like newer jean styles or jean brands yes. that are like really popular, like Ammo or like a Goldie. Yes. Um, and so here is the little, the back thing in case you ever see it. Pick it up. It is very expensive. Okay. And then, so here's another one of those pieces where I was talking about where I was like, the Goodwill tag is still on it, but like I didn't pay $20 for these. So this was $20 at Goodwill and it is a pair of, like, this is like, I think this might be something like something, something, not just like something. So this is a pair of gold Lululemon. I bet these are really um, expensive. They're wonder unders. Wonder unders. That's what they're called. And they're cropped. Yeah, like they're the wonder -unders. Lululemon on the back is gold. It has all these really fun little gold stripey thingies on them. And they're like, I got a feeling these are really expensive. I feel like this is going to be something fancy. And I they're really, really good condition. A weird tag. Like a special tag. You can tell they did have the normal They had one. a pull tag in them. Hmm. I wonder if it's a collab. And oh. maybe maybe whatever brand it is normally has a tag like this. Mm -hmm. There's no way they're But fake. like, no. no, this feels just like every other pair of Wonder they're Unders I felt. Fake. Like the stitching is really good. Okay, so jury's out on what these actually are. I'm fairly confident. I mean, there's like a 0.01% chance they turn out fake, I guess. I'm but fairly like, confident they're real. I'm yeah, very confident they're I'm real. Sure they I are. just have no idea. I'll look for a size. You yeah. Keep okay. Trucking. So, and then I'm, so this one I grabbed. Oh, okay, yeah. No, that we're real. Well, they're size eight and there is a oh. really long. Oh, they're new. Code. Still, so size eight. <laughs> Jury's out. Jury's out on these. We'll figure it out. We'll see what. And we'll, when they maybe are in like what sold or something, we'll tell you guys what they were. The internet will tell us. Yeah. Okay, so I picked this up. I think Motel is expensive. What was that sequin dress that you got that was sold at ASOS? Three floor? So this probably isn't anything. Um, I. <laughs> Even though I think it's cute. So the brand is Motel. I vaguely, vaguely, vaguely remember. That does sound familiar. Like, yeah, see, like, I might oh be- gosh, I thought it said 100% denim, and I was like, it's not expensive, because they lied. They sewed in the wrong material tag. Um, so again, jury's out on this one as well, what it actually is, but I just thought it was a really cute little trendy floral dress, and it has this really nice, um, like, cross back detail on it. See, again, this was 49 at Goodwill, and it's a green tag. Okay, well, it says handmade, hand printed, and hand beat it. So, I mean, okay. again, we'll get back to you. Jury's out on this one as well. <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> um, but it literally weighs like nothing. It's just a really nice little cute, cute shift dress. It is really cute. So, like, if it doesn't turn out to be anything, the Play-Doh's closet okay. will love it. it will all if it turns out to be something, the Poshmark will love it. It'll yes. be great. So, this I got because I have seen these all over G-pop. They are popping off. So this is just a really cute little embroidered like hippie bag. And it has all these really pretty little flowers and all these really fun little bohemian things on it. And it does have like the little tie detail on the front. And y'all are gonna gag when I tell you what this is. It's limited edition, which I think is from like the Target. limit. Oh, limited edition to Target? Usually it has the Target logo and says limited edition. Oh, okay. So it's just an old Target bag. Right? I don't know. Right, everyone? I don't know. Nod with me. I can't see you, <laughs> am I right? Uh, the inside of this strap is this really pretty blue linen. And I just thought this was like, not to bring up the girlies again, but this is going to go to one of them and they're going to love it. Okay. And then um, I got a Tommy Bahama sweater for my dad. Todd needs nicer clothes. Um, and then I got this Madewell piece. So Madewell, most of the time, I'll like take it to a consignment store unless it's like a pair of the jeans, pair of the shoes, really nice, cute little printed blouse. But this I like for the fall. I like that it's like a little bit thicker and I like that it has like a plaid-esque print to it. It's actual flannel like feeling. Yeah, it's like double line, that really soft double line. I'm like pretty sure cotton. I sold this. Um, size medium. I would have not paid $10 for this at the Goodwill. That is insane. But I just thought this was super cute. This little off the shoulder top with the tie detail on the sleeves and that like Black and white grid print, I think, is always really popular. Going into the fall. I'm just gonna quick do my <laughs> final items and then we're gonna cut it off. Then, we once have gone a little too four. We haven't. We've gone too four. We've gone too four. <laughs> we can't go back now. We've um, gone too four. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> these I freaking love. And luckily they are not like old, 
they are newer. I and really thought are, he was going to say he found a pair of skims. These are Adidas then. Velour track pants. Not velvet, right? Velour, I think. And these Velour, are a woman's size small. And these are like newer. These are not some like old like 90s or early 2000s. These are like, these came out these not that long were ago. were made to mimic the ones from the 90s and the 2000s. Then we have, I personally do not like picking these up, but this one's really cute. So this is a vintage Oshkosh, oh my gosh, Osh Bagosh. Oshkosh, Bagosh. And it says Chillville, and there's penguins. Oh, cute. And there's a train. And it's really cute. It's like a winter corduroy gray, 18 month size. Oh pair of corduroy that overalls. That's big for a kid who's a year and a half. Then, this hmm. is like apparently a bolo. I we'll know. find out. Again, jury's out. No, I have <laughs> done the research and I guess it is. I don't know about the scarves, but like, they make dresses and blouses too. It's this like cruise print cotton scarf with all kinds of like fun cruise thingies. And the brand is long. It's like way too long. Antica Santeria by Kikomo Sink. Okay, well, don't know what that is. So it's like two people's names. That's what that looks like. Uh, it's really. I don't cute, know much though. about it, but I know that they're like expensive, and people sell the dresses on Posh for like almost a hundred dollars. Twenty twenty five bucks know. for the scarf, maybe. Then Ryan's favorite people on earth are gonna love these. Yes, they are. The college females is what I'll just say. And this is a vintage Liz Claiborne size ten. Um, what's the clueless? Clueless oh, skirt. This is very Cher Horowitz. Yes, so this mm -hmm. is like a deep pop. I love these colors too. I don't think I've ever seen a yeah. plaid with that like cute green and yellow and stripe stuff. in it. And the pink, I love it. Then this brand, I think it's Namaste. I don't remember I now. I think you're right. Yeah. Um, I actually have this exact pair of leggings from the bins once and I found them again. And these are 14 inches across the waist. I have not looked at what size that is yet. Probably medium, large. These are a dupe for the, um, like the, aloe, the aloe goddess aloe. leggings. Those yeah, ones that don't like, these look pretty? They need a body in them. Yeah, they, they do. need to have a, a somebody's in them. Okay, couple more, couple good things. So couple this good things. is another mod cloth item. I'm Super cute. This. I don't like it as much as the other, of course, but I really, I really do. like this. this is so mod cloth size small, and this is like a kitchen vegetable herb mushroom it's like a print. It's like a salsa making Ingredient. jumpsuit. Yeah, and it's a jumpsuit. It's like a knee length jumpsuit. It's like, oh, a, it's like a, mini, a culotte jumpsuit. It's like a romper mixed with a jumpsuit. It's Super a, cute. Jumper? Jumper. Is that where that comes from? No, jumpers are sweaters. Yeah, but isn't there like a name for jumpsuit that's like A romper? Else? No. No. <laughs> um, yeah. Vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> It is missing a button on the side, on one of the sides, but like that's right at where the, cause it's belted too. That's right where the belt goes. So like, it's not gonna like fall off or something. That's totally no. fine. You can just add one if you want. It's so cute. Real fast, umg. Umg. Oh, umg. It is a medium. Love this dress. And oh. I just think it's really cute. It's got all kinds of florals. I really like this middle panel here with like the sunflowers. I love this like tear at the bottom. <sighs> then three left. Sundance. This is a size large. Probably the most like not exciting Sundance I've ever seen in my life. But it's trendy because it has like lettuce hem at the bottom and the top. Sundance. And it's ribbed, so good for like fall. And it's a size large and it's the new label. Super cute. Then I'm gonna be doing an Urban Outfitters for once <gasps> because I freaking love this. This is adorable. It's just normal in-house Urban Outfitters brand and it's a size small. And it is the Wild Cats print look at how cute this blouse is which actually fun fact Stella McCartney this might be oh, this might be a dude <gasps> Stella McCartney made a print just like this except the cats were like green and purple but like this looks the same Okay. Anyways, so, last item. So, McCartney, if you ever watch this, um, it's not me who made it. No. <laughs> last we item apologize. is a free people. Free size people. large dress. Dress. Purple dress. dress. Purple mini dress. Pretty little. With ruffles. What is this? Like paisleys. And that's, that's all she wrote. Okay, so we have gone uh, to four. So we are going to have to say goodbye. And I we will all this stuff now. see you. Ugh on Saturday for What's Old Saturday. It's gonna be probably missing a couple days because we're on vacation again. Oops. <laughs> we're on vacation together <laughs> yes, this time. Yes, yes. Not visiting anybody, we're just going up north. Yeah, so our closets were on vacation mode for like the beginning of this week for like three days. A couple days. So we'll still have a What's Old Saturday. It's just gonna be like a little bit smaller. Anyways, 
We will see you guys on Saturday for What's yes. On Saturday. A quick little What's On Saturday. Bye. Oh, baby, yeah. Goodbye.